Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Good morning, good morning. And I'm, I'm sorry, good morning. I'm sorry I missed the council members. I'm gonna be very brief, and if they can come back and repeat their comments one more time so I can hear them. And Alex, look, uh, absolutely no pressure. You place no pressure on me uh, this morning, but thank you, and, um, and thank all of you. I apologize for being late, but this morning I was reading to uh, the little kids from uh, Anderson Elementary School and uh, if I tell you, if that wasn't a precious sight, uh, being with all of them. So, uh, and now to be here today, this is indeed a great day uh, in the city of Houston. I'm so very proud of the facility we, we have here and the adaptive recreation programs we provide to our citizens with disabilities. This includes our military veterans and children with disabilities. From the gymnasium to the pool, to the fitness room, the classrooms, and activity rooms. Uh, this facility and the programs offered here give the community a safe and accessible place to enjoy a variety of sports, exercise, and enrichment classes. And clients who come here are supported by caring, especially trained City of Houston Parks and Recreation Department employees, and an amazing, an amazing group of volunteers. I thank the Department Director, Joe Turner, um, who often people get us confused um, <laughs> for his leadership in bringing adaptive recreation to our communities. Thank you, Joe. Hey. And today we celebrate this wonderful, wonderful facility and the recent improvements, but there's a great synergy happening here today. Today, the Mayor's Office of, for People with Disabilities will also host a kickoff event for Disability Awareness Month. Under the leadership of Director Francis from the Department of Neighborhoods, the Mayor's Office for People with Disabilities will host a variety of activities, performances, and exhibits to signal the start of a month full of events to create awareness and advocacy with people with disabilities. Today, we also celebrate a grant of $70,000 from the United States Department of Veterans Affairs Adaptive Sports grant program. Yes. Yeah. The, grant, the grant project titled Operation Houston Four-Star Paralympic Development Program aims to expand access to adaptive sport activities for veterans and active members of our armed forces with disabilities. It's my understanding the bulk of the grant funds will be used to buy adaptive sports equipment such as rugby, soccer, and basketball wheelchairs. All right. I told you it was a great day for the city of Houston. Yes. We certainly appreciate the VA's recognition of the city's efforts in this area with the financial award. And finally, today also, and, we, and I know Jay has already been mentioned, we also celebrate the life and service of Jay Stankley with the dedication of Jay's room. Jay served, yeah, give it up. Jay served since 2014 as the manager of the Mayor's Office for People with Disabilities. And sadly, he passed away in July after a short illness. He will be deeply missed, not only from people in the disability community, but Jay will be missed by people in the city of Houston as a whole. And in his memory as a part of his legacy, we are committed here in the city of Houston to move forward, to do everything that can be done to assist people with disabilities. Uh, it is fitting to honor Jay's memory, um, Jay's many years of service in a space where the clients of this facility gather for meals and fellowship. The city of Houston is grateful for Jay's time with us and service to the citizens of Houston. I want to thank you for joining me, the council members, and I have a great group of council members. You can't find a better group of council members anywhere in any city in any country. <laughs> yeah. especially, especially these <laughs> and especially, especially these four that are standing behind me today. <laughs> They are the favorites. Uh, the Houston Parks and Recreation Department and all of the employees there 
the Department of Neighborhoods and all of the employments and this, uh, the employees for this wonderful celebration. This is indeed a bright day in the city of Houston. But if we work together, if we work together, there can be many, many bright days in this city. And I would argue that the brightest days for the city of Houston and for people for, with disabilities, the brightest days are yet to come. Thank you so very, very much.